What up? <laughs> I had this two nose dive. I'm gonna do a better way. Just keep on losing you over complications. Gone too soon. Wait, we was just hanging. Alright, what up? My name is Markel, and today I'm gonna teach you how to hang her. Well, it's not a funeral. Are you more excited? Yes. I'm sorry. This is my face. I'm sorry. That's your face? This is just me. Look over. Like, what up? Yeah. All right. Got it. I guess I got to say it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Oh, I'm hey, sorry. Oh. All right. I got it. I got it. What up? <laughs> my name is Markel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to hang her. That, that was better. That was better. I mean, you still sound like you're dying, but it's I mean... <laughs> Yeah, just like that. That's hard to... Yeah, today is... <laughs> do I show this example or do I just like explain talk about right it now? and then do it. You can talk. Like when you're riding, you can talk because I'm your mic. Uh, yeah, the whole I can time mic. I can hear you. Oh, okay. So I could do it right now and explain. I mean, can I do a T-hanger? Yeah, let's see it. And explain. Okay. All right. What up? All right, so basically you want to come up at the rail at a very comfortable speed for you. And basically I learned, I learned by like hopping on for front peg first and like chinking it. And then basically as I progressed, I just leaned forward more and more until you feel comfortable enough to basically swing your back wheel over. And eventually you can do it longer and longer when you get more comfortable with it. And then see, like, basically over time you get more comfortable. And I feel like if you learn how to get over the, uh, the fear of falling over your bars, you'll be really good at them. It's pretty simple after learning the first few steps. And then you can go along and try it up ledge, down ledge, flat ledge, on a rail, up rail, wherever you want. All right, so I'm a left foot forward rider. So basically my regular side grind is on a left peg. So that's actually regular. That's classified in the BMX industry as regular. But you could also come and do a switch would be the opposite pegs for me, which is right side like this. And also you, in order to learn the switch pegs, you need to do the same steps. Basically, you nose dive onto the rail a little bit, like toothpick, and then back peg, and then and basically just get more comfortable and hold it and hang it over. I personally like to do regulars more than I like to do switch, just because my body posture but I guess it's all personal preference. Yeah, I mean, some people feel like you can get more pitched. Yeah, some people do feel like you can get more swung over if you do a switch, just because the body posture. But me, personally, when I do hangers, I can get more steep and I can stabilize it a lot more when I'm on my left peg. Which is your normal? Which is my normal way. Okay, what about, how do you bail? How do you bail? That's what I was saying, where you need to be more comfortable. So basically, if you have nose males, it actually helps a lot too. But if you don't, you can just practice bales just like this. Like, you know, basically you push the bars under you or some people catch them. But I personally throw my bike because I feel like it's a lot more dangerous if you catch your bike. Also your sponsor. Okay, yes, and also I'm sponsored. So I would not say throw your bike if you don't just get parts all the time. Oh, you get them all the time now. Let's not read too deep into the context, but basically, I personally throw my bike because I feel like it's safer for me, not because of the parts. And if you feel like you want to hold on to your bike, hey, that's you. Here's a bell on a hanger purse. <laughs> okay, see that one was a lot more forced. That was a lot more of a forced hanger bell right there. So it was a lot. <laughs> It was very, that was very sketchy. You wanna do another one? Yeah, I'm definitely doing another one. Yeah. I bailed out of a good hanger. That was hard to do. Yeah, that was pretty good. My hanger. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I I literally like that was a good hanger, so bailing out of it was hard. But basically, if you get too steep or you feel like you should bail, jump over your bars and get off the bike. Just like that. You can also do it the same as a nose willy bell. You just toss the bike under you and you get off the bike as safe as possible. And my preference is to toss the bike and not hold it because it's dangerous. And now I'm kind of known as hang time, you know. I'm just saying, you know, I got the sticker, you know, it's there. It's official, it is there. It is happening. Oh God, I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> All right, so let me show you an example of how I would do a hanger on a ledge. And in all honesty, I am more comfortable hanger in a ledge than I am a rail. And I, I can't even explain why that is, but it just is like that. So here's one for you. There goes an example of another bell of me getting too steep. Trust me, learning this trick, in all honesty, I never thought I would be, I'm not excellent at it, but I'm pretty good at the trick. But when I first started, I hated the trick. So in time, practice helps a lot. So here's another one for you. Yeah. Oh, fuck, ow, oh. ah. That was me dropping the hanger down way too early and almost breaking my ankle. All right. Uh, here's another hanger on this ledge right here. Oh, that was finally a success. Wanna do the down ledge over here? Yes, I'll do this down ledge right here. Down stuff is actually not too hard. Ledges are a little harder than rails, but hmm, it's not too bad. See, it's a, um, the flat ledge requires a lot more balance and the, um, the down ledge basically, you'll have more speed. Like just going down, your momentum will carry you and all you basically have to do is hold on and make sure you carry your back wheel over the end of the ledge. All right, you wanna do the up ledge real quick and then call it? Okay, go up, okay. I mean, it keeps getting loose, it hurts. I got, I got Clots. Shout out to your sponsor? Shout out to Rastaclot. Here's an up ledge hanger. Oh. Oh, 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 fuck it. We're going up ledge. Thank you, sponsor. Mainly just stranger. Thank you, the stranger, for uh, keeping my bike dialed and keeping me able to actually do hangers. And follow me on Instagram, Markel Jones underscore underscore, and. I love Alf because Alf is a man. He's also a reason that I'm still riding today. Without Alf, you probably would not be seeing this video right now. Thank you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow him on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Hang time. Hang time. Where's your hair? It's not flat today. It's not flat. I need a haircut. Go fund me $20. There you go. Go fund this man. <laughs> Pay this man. <laughs> All right, guys. Wait, you're not going to be able to hear me. I have to talk real close oh, to yeah. his chest. But no homo, you smell not that bad. All right. See you tomorrow. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. That was um, me fucking up. Run it back. That was steep. Oh, 
Oh, do I talk? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry.